So you're wanting some simple aquaponics designs. Basically, that's, that's why you're here. Welcome, awesome, great for you. Um, okay, so a lot of people look at some videos and go, hey, aquaponics is awesome, I'm gonna do this, and they jump in. And if you're anything like me, you think you can do absolutely everything all the time, or you can work it out and she'll be right, mate, as we like to say in Australia. Sometimes those things can be a little bit more complicated than we first think. Aquaponics happens to be one of those things. It's kind of like driving. You, you need to sort of practice at it before you can get it going really, really well. And if you try to jump into a Mercedes or a Ferrari when you're learning to drive, well, you're going to be quite scared to, to see what it can really do and to, to be comfortable driving it. Whereas if you get into a cheaper car, especially if you're my generation and one of those old uh, cars that are, were actually made of metal, much easier. So. The way I like to help people with aquaponics is I like to show you small, easy, simple, and cheap, okay? When I say cheap, I don't mean cheap and nasty. I mean, it's just not gonna cost you as much as the bigger systems. But that way you can kick the tires, you can get a feel for it, you can use what you already have, for instance, and then you can build and expand and grow more. So I've got five designs for you today, and all of them have some very key features. They all have a fish tank, so somewhere for the fish to live. They all have some way of growing vegetables. They all have two types of filters. They have a mechanical filter, so removing all of the solid waste from the fish and uneaten food from your aquaponic system. That's called a mechanical filter. And then they have the biological filter. And that is where we have bacteria from the environment, just natural bacteria from the ecosystem all around us that converts the ammonia fish waste into fertilizer for the veggies. So every design I'm about to show you have all of these. They're very, very simple and basic. And if, you know, starting off small, get your way bigger and you can do it very quickly, but it's a lot easier. And from 14 years of experience, it is a lot easier to start off small and work your way up. You don't have that fear as opposed to just going straight into it and go, holy crap, I've just spent thousands of dollars and this has not worked. Okay, so let's get right in and I'm gonna be putting these actual pictures and designs up so you can have a good look at them. So here is the first one. It is based on an aquarium, so if you do have an aquarium at home, perfect, a freshwater aquarium that is. So as you can see, we've got the aquarium you have your normal fil filter, so your normal canister filter, and hopefully if you have a, an aquarium, you already understand about your water quality, so we're going to assume that one. And we're going to keep that canister filter because that does the whole mechanical and biological filtration for us. What we're simply adding is a way of growing vegetables and not using the nitrate, uh, sorry, using the nitrate and not having to do water exchanges here. So at this point, I'm really wanting to say, check out the video up top in the cards link up top. It shows you about the different amount of fish to plant to water ratio. Okay, so have a look at that link at the top as well. That'll give you a really good understanding. But basically, this is a really simple indoor system and do make sure you've got lighting attached to it. I haven't actually done that on any of these designs, but you do need to have light for your plants. We have your aquarium and the fish live. We have the filtration, so the mechanical and the biological down in your canister filter. We have what we call a nutrient film technique channel. This can be as simple as a piece of PVC piping with some nets and the water is pumped up into this pipe and it just flows through very gently and back down into the fish tank. Having this running will help to reduce your nitrates. Awesome, huh? So let's move on to the next one. The next one, which is barrel aquaponics. Now, if you happen to notice, I have on my playlist, I've shown you how to build a barrel aquaponics system. How cool is that? So let's go through and have a look at the design so you can see how to do it yourself. But yes, check out the YouTube link up in this channel, um, up in the cards to see how to build your own. This is awesome. Okay, so barrel aquaponics, again, we have our fish tank down the bottom. We have two types of, well, we have our grow beds, which is does two things in an aquaponic system. One, it's where our biological filtration happens, and two, it is where our veggies grow. Now you'll see that in my description, I've got solid waste remover up the top there. 
That is your mechanical filtration. Removing solid waste from the system. It's really important that we do that. Okay, so same concept. We're just using some drums and some easy little plumbing that we can do. You can build this in a couple of hours and for under 300, I don't know, like 320 something dollars. So under 350 bucks. That is a very simple, easy design that you can knock up very quickly, very easily. And it's showing you how it works. And it works really, really well. Okay, so now if we have a look at a larger system, this is called an NFT system. So Nutrient Film Technique System. Okay, so again, we've got all of the, the same components. We have a fish tank. We have somewhere to grow the veggies, which is in that PVC piping that you'll see that says NFT channel. We do have a sump in this particular um, design. What you'll also see in here is it says solid separator and biofilter. Here is where things get a little bit different and we are talking about a bigger system rather than just a small little barrel system or your small little aquarium system. But this is still one of your cheapest options of building an aquaponic system. So whether you use a solid separator or a radial flow filter, I will have a video about that. I think it's next week coming up, showing you the difference between it. But basically it is your mechanical filter. It is removing all of the solid waste from your aquaponic system and um, so it doesn't go into the, any, well in this we don't have a grow, but it doesn't go in, anywhere in the, in the system. The biofilter is what the gravel would normally be. So all of that expanded clay that we have in a grow bed, we don't have it in this particular system. So you'll need some type of media to act as your biofilter. So it's very much the same as an aquarium filter in this regard. It's just having a lot of it and this is where your filter actually is. That converts all of that solid water. So all of that ammonia, the fish waste, into fertilizer for your veggies and then it continues down through the NFT channel and the veggies are absorbing all of that nitrate. It ends up, all of the water then ends up into your sump. From the sump it is pumped back into the fish tank and we go over and do it all again. Really nice, cheap, easy system. Okay, so this is a very basic diagram and you'll notice here I do have arrows pointing in the right directions where the water flows and that but you'll also see I haven't actually labeled it on this particular one there's a gray little box between the fish tank and the solid separator and there's a little red um, a little red square on that that means a valve that's just me and my design I haven't actually said to people what that is but that shows a valves I, I like to have valves out throughout my system it makes it easier if I need to shut it down or change anything around. So now we're going to have a look at a grow bed system. Now again this can be fairly cheap uh, and we're talking about a very small grow bed system as well we're not talking about a big one. So a grow bed system are very much like the barrel aquaponic system but bigger. Okay so I'm basing this design on an IBC so those big intermediate bulk containers that you see everywhere that people are cutting apart. We have the big one as the fish tank. Then we have the water flowing into a solid separator. So again, this is the mechanical filtration happening. We're removing the solid waste from the system. Now I do have a biofilter in this particular diagram. I believe you can't have too much filtration. Okay, that's me. You can never have too much filtration, but that's an optional thing. You'll see it does say optional, but the water basically goes from the solid separator or the biofilter in this case, into your grow bed. So we've removed all of that solid waste Mechanical filtration has happened and we are now moving into the biological filtration. So that's where our grow bed comes in. And the grow bed has two functions. It's converting all of that ammonia into fertilizer for the veggies. And this is where the veggies are growing and they're cleaning and filtering the water for the fish. How cool is that? Water then moves down into the sump through just the gravity flow. And then with one pump, we're pumping it straight back up into the fish tank. And we do it all over again. Nice, simple, easy and clean. A very simple system like this does not cost very much. You can do it again for a few hundred dollars. Actually, under a thousand dollars. I'll say with under a thousand dollars, but we do have prices changing at the moment and everything's going up. The expanded clay, which is where your biological filtration happens and all of the um, 
it's in the grow bed and that's where the veggies are. It is getting very, very expensive at the moment. So pricing on that one could vary a little bit, but you should be able to do this mostly through gravity with one pump circulating the water everywhere. Okay, it can be done very, very easily and very, very, well, what I consider cheaply. Now, if you're someone who's going great candy, but not, you know what, I want the bigger system, I just, I'm gonna go at it. I got you covered there as well. The most common system we have again is pretty much that grow bed system that you've just seen, but bigger. <laughs> Instead of just the one actual grow bed, you're gonna have three grow beds or, or four or however many. But this is where you need to balance out the fish to filtration, so the wet media and the fish, that is how you determine. We identify how many fish we can have based on the filtration. So that shows how many grow beds we have, will then tell us how many fish we can have. And just because I've got you covered on that one there too, have a look up at the link that's up here at the moment and it will talk to you about finding out how many fish can I have. So when you're trying to work this out, you can know how many fish you can have. So this system is very much based on the previous one that I've just shown you. So we've got the fish tank. And remember you can, it doesn't have to be in a linear form, it doesn't have to be left to right, it could be right to left, it could be in a square and a triangle in any number of ways. Okay, but it's in a diagram, it's so much easier to do linear. Okay, so we have our fish tank, where the fish live. We have the solid separator, so again we've got our mechanical filtration happening, removing all of that solid waste out of the system. Now in this diagram, I don't have that biofilter here, but you can easily slot that in. Okay, that's not a problem to slot it in in that exact space. And then we have the water moving straight from the solid separator into the grow beds. In one long pipe with some valves, you can adjust the flow rate of going from the grow bed, in, sorry, from the fish tank into the solid separator, then into the grow beds using the valves. That's one of the reasons why they're so awesome. Water then goes down through the grow beds and into one long pipe along the bottom and that pipe will then go into the sump at the bottom. The sump is basically where we collect all of the water. So nice, cool and, and really super duper easy. And from there we have all of the water going back into the fish tank. And then it happens again. So there are different variables within these designs. Sometimes, in, especially when you've got a grow bed, and you've got the gravel, then you can be deciding constant flow or flood and drain. Again, video link, video link, I can talk to you about that one too, to be able to see how, what the difference is and you get to choose what you want to do on that one. Um, so there are different variations, but remember, the biggest thing about aquaponics, it's your system. It's based on what you need and what you want and where you live, your climate, your environment. You, you cater it to what you need. So I have been doing this for 14 years. I do different designs based on the locations and the space, the fish and the temperatures. All of these things vary the different aquaponic systems. But I wanted to give you five different examples on how to start really small with an indoor aquarium. And that could be even a foot aquarium. You know, one of those square little aquariums with a piece of polystyrene and with a piece of, uh, sorry, with a net going into it. And it's not oregano in that net. That's a very simple aquaponic system right there and there. Any freshwater aquarium you can use for your aquaponic system. Easy, simple start. Moving on to your barrel system. That can help give you an understanding. And it's, it's just right here, it's just out of view. But that can give you a really good understanding how it all works, how you can get this happening. Awesome. If you're still wanting to go bigger than bigger than this, bigger than the barrel system, but cheaper, you still need to you know, be mindful of prices, we certainly do, your nutrient film technique is the way to go. Lots of things to think about in there though, but here's a design, do your research. There's lots of videos out there about pros and cons of them. They have their, their uses in their time, but do your research, and get that happening. Bigger, and most common is your bigger grow beds. People generally use the IVCs. I'm really not a fan of them, just, just saying, especially for a fish tank. I do use aquaculture tanks. I, I have my training in aquaculture, so I have a bit of a bias there. Um, and it also helps them really circulate and move the water around a lot easier and you don't have the 
other issues, but anyway, what I want isn't really important, is it? It's what works for you. So a small little robed system, you've got your mechanical filtration, removing solid waste, the biological filtration, converting all of that ammonia from the fish into fertilizer, nitrate, for the veggies, and then filtering it all out. And then you have your even bigger grow bed system. Five systems. Which one are you going to choose? I'm serious. Answer the question. You know, drop, drop, drop a comment below and actually answer the question. Which one am I going to use? This one. This one with this modification. Tell me. Why not? I love hearing what people are doing. Well, ask your questions and I shall answer your questions. Alrighty, see ya. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or comments, make sure you do leave them below and hit that subscribe button so you can find out when I've got more videos being posted. And don't forget to follow me on other social media because I do different lives on different social media on different days. So, again, thank you for watching. I really value and appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed it.